For the Randy measurements, prepayment meter. This meter is manufactured by the Randy measurements, Hollywood, England. This electricity meter is operated by inserting coins into the coin mechanism to the right there. And the central window shows a readout displaying how much prepaid credit has been purchased. And the left hand window is showing what would be similar to an ordinary electricity meter where you would receive a quarterly bill. This electricity meter though, uh, when the credit runs out it switches off and that then requires another coin to be inserted. These electricity meters they were used in houses where either they were requested or where someone couldn't be trusted to pay the bill. Electricity boards started removing these in the early 1990s and by the mid 1990s in the south of the United Kingdom a lot of these have been removed and replaced with electronic key meters and the key involved taking it to a shop and asking to have some credit put on it and then making the payment in that kind of fashion. This electricity meter then it has the following characteristics for the metering section on the left hand side we have got 200 uh, to 240 volts 50 hertz single phase to wire it's 20 to 60 amps loading capacity and the wheel speed in that is 187 revolutions per kilowatt hour the model number is f2k-50 b this electricity meter was first calibrated and put into service in 1985 this meter is currently not showing any readout on the display as it has been reset to zero upon me acquiring it. The next window along shows the amount of unused units that have been prepaid. The outer scale shows a capacity of 0 to 22 units. The inner scale in red shows a capacity of 0 to 88 units that can be uh, prepaid. With this electricity meter, once the pointer goes into the red section, there's a little gate inside the coin mechanism which prevents the coin dropping into the coin box. And as such, when the pointer does go into the red section, and the coin drops from the coin mechanism and hits the gate, it then jams the coin mechanism thus preventing someone from inserting further coins and overwinding the unused units dial. To determine what rate the meter has been set on just above that unused units dial is a pointer. This meter is set on rate A. This cannot be changed by the electricity user, it has to be changed by the meter owner. At the bottom of that window 
there's a little coin register and it shows how many coins have been inserted into the meter. This one shows only one coin due to the fact that this meter has been reset. The coin mechanism is currently set up for one pound coins. Again, it can be set up for either rate A or rate B. Because the meter is set up for rate A, there are two scales on that coin mechanism. The lowest amount of units that can be prepaid for on rate A is one unit, and the maximum amount of units that can be prepaid for on rate A is 4.7. This can be changed in increments of 0 0.1 of a unit. If the meter is set on rate B, then the minimum amount of units that can be prepaid for is 4 units, and the maximum amount of units that can be prepaid for on rate B is, I believe it's 18.8. And that is set in increments of 0 0.4 units. The coin box on this particular meter is one of the larger square types. Because this was one of the, one of the last few electricity meters to be manufactured. As far as I know, Ferranti Measurements never manufactured the meter with the small rectangular coin box. Those examples are manufactured by Smith, Smith Meters of London. As such, the Ferranti Instruments and the Smith Instruments do share certain parts, and as such, certain parts are interchangeable between Ferranti Meters and the Smith Meters. Due to the fact that this electricity meter has been reset to zero and prepared to be put into service, I will not be powering this one up on another video, just so that I can give a demonstration of the load wheel going around in there. This electricity meter has been reset and reserved for a particular job, and as such it has been tested out and calibrated, reset to zero and then sealed. So this particular instrument it won't be showing in another video but I do have more than one of these and I also own a few of the Smith type as well. So we shall be viewing some of those a little bit later on in other videos. For now I'd like to say thanks for watching this one.